Okay, calling the Brandon Board of Education regular meeting to order. Can I get a roll call vote, please? John Church here. Here. Rebecca Haynes here. Lisa Cavaluna here. Kim Smith Galaga here. Hilary Stokowski here. Jeff Silke here. Diane Salter here. Gary Richards here. Jan Ziesel here. Carly Stone here. Okay, I'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, next on our agenda, we have the student high school report. We've got Kaylee Kerman and Olivia Hansen. Come on up. Good evening. Brandon Student Council, Vice President. Sorry, okay. Student Council, and I'm President of Student Council. Okay. Okay. So some activities that we have going on in our school right now, mostly sports. We have boys basketball tryouts, which were today, and competitive cheer is going on. Which I tried to put a picture in from last year, but it didn't load. And it's disappointing, <laughs> but. We also have girls basketball and their tryouts were a week or two ago. Wrestling is going on, palms, bowling, boys swim, and the ski club. Oh. And then recent events that we've done in student council is be held in Osif Can Drive throughout the week. I'm not sure how many like cans we got total, but the winning class had like 260 something cans. And then we're doing, we did an angel closet clothing drive last week. So like we were accepting donations for our clothing drive that we're trying to build within the school. And then we're working on a Christmas spirit week. We're working on our charity week, which will be December 5th through the 9th. Um, we're selling pizza kits, like Little Caesar pizza kits to raise money to go to States in February. Um, we're writing holiday cards for like just like the little kids at the elementary school or like just anyone that you want to write a holiday card to. We're doing Secret Santa like within our council for just something fun to do. Um, we're going to read books for kindergarten through second graders. I'm not sure what day yet, but we'll be doing that soon in December. And then on Sunday, we're doing a Beaky's Bake Sale from 11 to 2 p.m. Okay, be a Beaky Sunday. Yep, gotcha. if anyone wants any baked goods from our council. Yep. <laughs> And then some school-wide events. Today we had a reality fair for the seniors and juniors, which was basically like a way to financially prepare us for the future coming up because a lot of kids obviously don't understand like how expensive life really is. And it was the big shocks. And then the sophomores OSTC assembly was on the last Friday where they just kind of got to learn and hear about our OSTC programs in case they are thinking about joining them their junior year. And then we had an inspirational speaker slash magician come in, which is what that picture is down there. Um, he talked about mental health and our okay to say, and just how there's always someone there if you need someone. And he showed it through magic, which was very interesting. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty that's all we have. <laughs> that's all you got? Great. Yeah. Not well, thank you, know. and have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. you too. Too. Anybody yeah. got any questions for them? I just real quick. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Next on our agenda, we have our bond update with Brian Spellneck. I'm told he's going to come in virtually. He's not here yet. Did you get my text? He said he was having trouble. Getting on. Okay. Oh, he's having trouble. Oh, is he? I, I forwarded it to you. Okay. Okay. When, when he comes up, if it's okay, we'll go to the superintendent report, at least to Dr. Gary Richards and the Harvey Swanson Elementary School Showcase. Yes. Thank you. You were all in for a, a treat this evening. You'll see in the back, we have some uh, third and fourth grade students who are members of student council at Harvey Swanson. 
Uh, they will be talking with you. Uh, we also will we'll be watching a, a video this evening that uh, was prepared by fifth graders, members of the uh, safety patrol also at Harvey Swanson. So Mrs. Long is Hello. our safety <laughs> patrol and student council leader, and uh, she'll be showcasing great work that these two groups of students have done at Harvey Swanson. As I mentioned, she'll be sharing a video that our fifth grade safety patrol made to explain the role to uh, students. And Mrs. Long also invited her third and fourth grade student council members to the board meeting to share what they've already done to beautify Harvey Swanson and what they plan to do for the remainder of the year. Now to introduce tonight's showcase, the Harvey Swanson Elementary School Principal, Mrs. Heffel. <laughs> It's such a beautiful job. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Jeremy Long and Miss Lucy Thompson and Kelly Stachowski who are going to help us share some of the work they've They are both fourth Sorry. graders and they are in my class. I did invite the third graders too, but I know a lot of them have things after school, so they weren't able to um, come. <laughs> So this is our little video from our student council. I'm sorry, safety patrol. Hi, we're I was going to edit it. I not edit the software together. So, so basically, um, our role of our safety patrol is that they are they help with arrival and dismissal. Um, they are we strategically kind of place them down the lower L hallway, especially now that we have all of our winter gear on in November. Um, the little ones need help with like getting their stuff together because it's everywhere. So they help with that. Um, and then they help with anything else, even things like, you know, helping them get their stuff off the bus. If kids forget their backpacks, they kind of can grab all of those things. Um, we have approximately around 60 kids in our safety patrol. Um, here they are, they greet students in the morning, and then they help, um, definitely help the lower L get mainly, they kind of are at the end of the line during dismissal, so they know everybody is like leaving <coughs> the building, um, so the teacher can like lead them, but then they can kind of follow behind to just make sure everybody's on the right path. Um, and then this is our student council role, so um, Callie, I know you helped with this, Lucy, did you help with this part? Oh, not for this one. So we have approximately 65 students on student council. I have them broken up into three groups. So I have one group that's doing October, November, December. One group will do January through March. One group will through, do April through June. So one of our projects was that we um, decorated the front of the building. Um, the student council has also helped to, um, you know, figure out what we want to do for spirit week. And then they have jobs each week. So they have to um, straighten up our lost and found, pick up trash on our playground, which when it's windy, seems to catch everything. Um, they, oh, that's, oh, picking up the coats and the sweatshirts and the mittens, everything gets left on the playground at the end of the day. Cause one day this year I picked up a sweatshirt that was like soaking wet cause it's been <laughs> in the rain for, you know, three days. So they, I have kids that go out there and just pick everything up so we can get it inside. Will you tell them that? Okay. So me and another student council member, Violet, we're also doing this artwork in the office thing where we're making posters to put around the school. And then we're gonna drop like a bin. And then kids who have artwork that they like can put the artwork in the bin and then every week we'll go and put like five pictures up oh, and God. change the pictures up. And then um, this is from last spring, but they also helped with cleaning up our little courtyard, which kind of got overgrown. And then Mrs. Sawyer's first graders plant in our old fountain, but our student our student council got the, like weeded it, got everything ready. And they also helped carry all the brush that we clipped to the um, backwoods. 
And then here's our third grade student council. They are coloring decorations to decorate by our front office. So I kind of rotated the third grade colors one time and makes things and then the fourth grade decorates and then they flip for the next holiday or whatever's coming up. We also did the um, OSEP holiday food drive. And then they work on picking up trash, especially when it gets windy. It's just a lot out there. A lot of kids eat snack out there. So just trying to keep everything nice. And they also know with our new playground that if they see anything like if older kids have written anything to let us know so we can keep it clean and keep it graffiti free. And then our future plans, basically for safety patrol, just add more safeties as needed. And then for our student council, um, they'll plan our Christmas spirit week and we'll do one for March's reading month. Um, also the student council will be student ambassadors when we have new families come in or when we have concerts, they pass out programs um, and we'll collect um, food for the OSEP spring drive spring food drive too. Callie, anything you want to add? Any other plans um, you think we should do? I mean, not really. I think we're doing pretty good, but maybe like a few other activities. Yes. Like mm -hmm. For yeah. the little kids, yeah. yes. I know last year's student council really wanted to do some kind of like a little egg hunt for the kindergarten, yeah, so maybe we can fun. do something like that. Mm -hmm. Or a scavenger yeah. hunt, yes. I think they would like that. See, see our student council members are full of lots of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> to be quite the leader. Yes. yes. And really for student council, I mean, I basically took anybody who applied because they just really feel like we need to encourage them to be leaders. And if they yeah. wanted a chance to do it, they should be given that chance because they're only, you know, seven, eight or nine. So they need that chance to do those things. Right. Yes. Any yes. <laughs> question? Thank you. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I do too. I say beautifying the outside of the building, especially because when families come here or parents or people, they talk about wanting to bring their kids to the school district. That's what they'll see. And to see like how beautiful that entrance was and things get picked up. That's really nice. Really nice. Anybody else? Just to say that, Carol, you may not know this, but all of the kids at the school, whether they're younger than you or older than you, they look to you as leaders. Yeah. And you are serving as examples in every way, in your heart and in your actions. It's wonderful. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do we have Ryan here before we? Ryan is not here. I gave him the correct information. <coughs> and um yeah i don't know we want to call him and just put him on up and you want to try something i i resent it earlier today also let me just go did he have a powerpoint he does have powerpoint yes did you have anything else no okay just, i sent him another link just now What's that? I sent him another link just now. So let me let me see if he joined in on the the attendee list. If not. Okay, Maybe he's you, having technical issues. What I'll do is I'll go right to public comments and questions on agenda business. I don't know if we could go, I'll go take a look out there just to see if anybody, okay. just to see if anybody signed up. I don't I care. Um, so what we could do, he can't see my microphone, and then Maria, he would say next slide. Okay. Got the presentation in front of them. Oh, sure. You, you're going to put on speaker well, right here. Phone. Right here. Okay. Um, it's, 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 <laughs> Teresa, but you're going to go at the end. It's going to be on the public comments, well, I guess, non agenda oh, yeah, business. I mean, no, this is agenda business, business only. Okay. 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 Oh. okay. Let's see if we can get Brian. Brian? Yeah. Okay. Hold on for a second here. Well, I can turn this all the way up. Do we have a microphone there? Um, you want to sit here in the middle? Okay. Yeah. Just like, 
Wait, the microphone. Yep. Hi, Brian. Did you not? Why don't you, why don't you call that phone? Yeah, the car phone. Does that have a speaker on it? The yeah, speaker is here. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, Brian. What's the best way to do this? Uh, if she can pull up the PowerPoint, I can just walk through it and, and kind of uh, go through the slides with you. Okay, we got the PowerPoint up. Okay, uh, second slide in is the design updates, the summer 2023 construction project. It says bid package number one is Brandon High School. Uh, bid package number two is Brandon Middle School and the exterior athletic field. And then bid package number three is Harvey Swanson. Okay. So that's how, the, that's how the projects will be going out for bid in December. Uh, again, as I mentioned at our workshop last week, there will be several bid categories within each bid package, but they'll be grouped in these three packages. Uh, Jeff and Chris think that it's the best way to get the, get the interest from the bidders is if they group them by school rather than by category. So that's how they've uh, instructed me to arrange the drawings. Okay. <laughs> Next slide uh, is uh, bid package one, specifically base bid scope of work. Again, I just wrote through this just to remind the board. Uh, high school interior, we have uh, some classroom and band room, HVAC, remodeling. Uh, we're creating a new restroom down by the Performing Arts Center for the students to use. We're remodeling the women's toilet room near the Performing Arts Center by the uh, lobby area. Uh, we're installing uh, Doors at the, the two toilet rooms down by the gymnasium. Dan's having a, a security problem down there with those uh, two toilet rooms, which currently do not have a door to them. So we're going to actually put a door on there so you can lock those away at times during the day. Uh, we are replacing a lot of the, the water damaged brick at the front of the building and along the wood shop area and adding gutters to the roofs to hopefully prevent that water damage from happening in the future. And there's some areas of flat roof that we'll be replacing as well. Uh, down in the pool area, we're going to replace the scoreboard, the sound system, and put a new timing system in for the swimmers. We're replacing some mechanical equipment and piping inside the pool room, which actually feeds water to the pool. And then as discussed several times before, we're putting a new ventilation unit on the ground outside the pool. Uh, next to the wall and then replacing all of the interior ductwork to the pool uh, to solve that problem of the, the humidity problem that we've had for years and years there inside the pool. Uh, next slide is again more bid package one scope in the auditorium we will be replacing the sound system and in the high school gymnasium also replacing the sound system. Uh, at the bottom of that slide, there's a couple of alternate bids that we're going to take. These items were not identified in the bond issue, but uh, they've come up as, a, as, a, as problems and issues. So we're going to take an alternate bid, which means the prices will be separated from the base bid scope. So the board can review them and make a decision if they want to go ahead and do these items that they weren't originally as part of the bond scope. So there's three items right now at the high school. Uh, replacing the theatrical lighting. Uh, I talked with Jesse about the weight room of putting in some turf surfaces in there so kids can do some uh, some exercise drills on turf. And then also I met with Dan, there's some issues with the water supply in the science room on the second floor. So we'll be including those items in the bid package, but as I mentioned, they will be separated as an alternate bid, so those prices will be able to be reviewed by the board. Uh, bit, next slide is bid package two, the base bid scope for the middle school. Uh, it says auditorium there, sorry that's a typo, but at the middle school there's two things we'll be doing. The first bullet point is, as we mentioned uh, several times, instead of adding an addition onto the iTech Center for bathrooms for exterior athletic events, we're going to be adding a new door and some interior doors to block off that corridor where the bathrooms are at the iTech Center so people can come into the building and use the bathrooms during outside athletic events. When the events are over, we can lock those doors in and then they can't access anymore. Uh, the other item that we are going to include, uh, we talked at the workshop, is we're going to add a door to the main office 
from the vestibule at the at the entrance of the middle school and change some door hardware to create a secure entry vestibule like you currently have at Oakwood and the high school. It's a very simple thing to do, very, very little money involved, and it will allow us to gain another level of security at the entrance into the middle school. At the exterior athletic projects, uh, as we've mentioned before, several meetings we've had, we're replacing the turf on the football field, replacing the track surface, replacing the tennis court surface, and at the middle school baseball field, we'll be converting that into the varsity baseball field. On the next slide, there's a couple alternates we're going to be taking for bid package two. The first is the GMAX pad under the new football field turf. We'll be taking that as a separate price, and I'll be getting more information on the statistics of that GMAX pad. So when we present it uh, to the board, uh, we'll have full information for that. And we're also taking an alternate bid to add bleachers and a small press box behind the home plate at the baseball field as part of the remodeling. Next stage is bid package number three. The base bid scope at Harvey Swanson includes new classroom flooring, interior doors, wall paint, new cabinets, new lockers, uh, media center upgrades, uh, toilet room remodeling to the two oldest part toilet rooms uh, back by the fifth grade wing, uh, exterior door and frame replacement, the new entrance upgrades at the two main entrances, one for the early childhood wing and one for the elementary. There's some roofing that we'll be replacing and also some HVAC upgrades for the cafeteria and the band room. Um, the classroom and office furniture designs are near complete. As we mentioned, that uh, will be purchased via a cooperative bidding purchase process after the new year. They won't be going out for bid in December, so they'll be able to purchase the direct pieces of furniture that the committee has decided that they want for the classrooms and offices. We'll be able to purchase those directly through the cooperative process, and that, that will take place after the new year so we can get those delivered for this summer. Next slide has a couple alternate bids that we're taking with bid package three. The first is in the early childhood wing of the building for new flooring, wall paint, and door replacement. That the classroom wing, the early childhood wing will be taken as an alternate bid. And then also the there's some work in the media center down by the early childhood wing that uh, with, includes new flooring, wall paint and new cabinetry. And that will be also be taken as an alternate bid uh, since that wasn't uh, identified on the original bond application. The next page is the uh, schedule. Um, as, uh, as I mentioned, I've been meeting a lot with Chris and Jeff and Walgap, the construction manager. So this is the schedule you've seen before. We're going out for bid on December 5th. The bid will be due on December 22nd. Uh, in between the holiday time, myself and Jeff and Chris will evaluate the bid. Then after the new year, we'll be performing post-bid interviews with the low bidders. And then uh, the important date is somewhere in that week, January 9th through 11th. Uh, we'd like to have a, another workshop with the full board so we can present all of the bid results and discuss all the numbers and the alternate bids and the base bids and and really give the board a complete picture of, uh, of the bidding and how the numbers came in. And then after that, on January 16th, we would be asking the board to take action and actually award contracts. Uh, the next page I've added in the slide is talking about the parking lots. I called it bid package number four. Uh, these are the parking lots for both the high school and Harvey Swanson. Uh, we've had a lot of dialogue and discussion, but at the end of the day, uh, at, the, at our last meeting, we decided to, to hold off on the designs for the parking lots at both of those locations until the bids come in in December and we talk about it more in January and see where our actual numbers are. And then after that, we'll, we'll be looking to the board to... Uh, to make a, some, a decision of which way they want to go then. 
we, we presented a, a lot of information for Harvey Swanson of different type of redesigns, but they, um, the, the price tag is, is over what's in the bond allocation. And then we looked at the high school, several different areas of the high school parking lot. And um, there's some question as far as, you know, how much work we should do at the, at the high school, how often the parking lots are used, et cetera. So we need more dialogue and some more conversation before we go ahead and, and complete those designs. So we're going to hold off on any of that bidding until after these, these three bid packages come in, then we'll get a much better picture on where we are financially. And then that'll give the board uh, a better idea of which way to proceed. Uh, the last page would be a, a proposed schedule for bid package for uh, the bids would go out in February. They would come back in March, and then we do the same type of thing. We meet with the board, discuss the the uh, results of the bid, and then hopefully get those awarded at the March meeting for for this summer construction. So it's it's a tight timeline. It's kind of the same timeline we were on with the Oakwood project last year. So, uh, but. Uh, we really need to see those bids for the first three bid packages come in so the, the board can, can get a better idea of where they are financially uh, in the uh, in the whole process of the bond application. And the last page is just the same update as before. The Harvey Swanson playgrounds are completed and the Oakwood Elementary School has been completed. Uh, those are the only projects that we worked on in the summer of 22. And um, I think that that's pretty much wrap, wraps up my report. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Anybody got any questions for Brian? No. Brian, we don't have any board members with questions. Just a reminder, the next, for board members, the next big event for them is going to be the week of January 9th, scheduling that workshop. And then that January 16th meeting, the regular meeting, becomes very important that not only do we accept the bids, but the brief overview of where the direction could possibly go regarding parking lots. Uh, so you would have by February to get the bid packages out for those on whatever that board decides, correct? That is correct. Okay. Okay, thank you, Brian. I appreciate it very much. And sorry about the technical difficulties. Yeah, you thank too. You. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Okay, next on our agenda, we have approval of our consent agenda. Could I get a motion, please? Move the Brandon Board of Education approve the consent agenda as presented so far. Okay, any discussion? Having none, could I have a roll call vote, please? John Tortier? Yes. Rebecca Haynes? Yes. Lisa Cavalona? Yes. Kim Smith Colaga? Yes. Hilary Stokowski? Yes. Jeff Silkey? Yes. Diane Salter? Yes. <laughs> um, next, we have our information and discussion items. Board report I'm just going to say, what would we have? Six of us, Dr. Richards, and five of us attend the Oakland Schools uh, dinner meeting that they had at Cranbrook. Part of it was with T-Rex Sue, we got to see her. So it was very uh, nice to have a little bit of training and, and mingle with some other board members from other districts and chit chat with them. Uh, that's all I really got. If anybody else from the board got a comment? No, having none. Uh, what do we got? Education report with Carly Stone. Hi there, yes, this will be brief. I just wanted to share with the board an update on where we are with our health and wellness plan uh, for the school year so far. Uh, when we met in September, I shared and outlined a plan with the board. Um, and I'm happy to say that we closed our SRS screener, SRSS screener on Friday. Uh, tomorrow morning, the mental health team uh, led by Jessica Cohen, in which I'll be attending, uh, we will be reviewing that data with the mental health team, our certified professionals, our psychologists, our social workers, and our counselors. Um, with us uh, sitting by their side, um, reviewing that data to then make some decisions to move forward. Um, we also, I just wanted to share, we did host a parent meeting um, a couple of weeks ago now 
uh, specifically to answer any questions that parents have regarding our plan and the SRS screen, SRSS screen. I'm in a hurry tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I just want to share, it was a very successful meeting. Uh, we had some wonderful parents and community members participate, some awesome questions. Uh, we really enjoyed the meeting. And as a result, um, you know, families came into that meeting feeling as though they weren't comfortable with the process. And we have families walking out of that meeting, making calls to their schools the next day, saying we want our child enrolled in that process. It makes sense to understand the, the plan um, and what this plays in terms of understanding the district system and how the district can work to support our students with their mental health. So we feel like that means it was successful. Uh, so we're very pleased and I appreciate Dr. Cohen's uh, time and leadership in that meeting um, with the community. And then lastly, on November 8th, we had uh, teacher professional development specifically tied to our work in that plan that I shared with you in September. And uh, we did survey our staff at the end of that professional development to get a sense of how was it? Did you like it? Are you looking forward to seeing the speaker again? Because this is someone we um, have coming back in January and March. An overwhelming positive feedback. Um, staff are very comfortable, felt the day was exceptionally relevant to uh, their everyday learning in the school district and that um, they're looking forward to seeing our speaker again. The only downside is that the chairs in the cafeteria and at the, at the middle school were not the most comfortable. <laughs> and so that message was heard and appreciated. And so we will be thoughtful to that absolutely um, with the coming PD. But just wanted to, to share that information out to you. So thank you. <clears throat> Any questions for Carly or Dr. Cohen? Having none, thank you for all your work on this, both of you. And thank you very much, Dr. Cohen, too. I appreciate it, Carly. Lots of lots of testing and lots of work and lots of getting education to the parents and stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, next we have our finance report. Jan is passing, yes, out. passing out. Tonight, I want to thank you. There's an action item on the board agenda tonight involving our, um, the investment of our bond proceeds. Uh, a few weeks back, I started looking into this, knowing that um, interest rates are going up. So I was curious what um, type of uh, return we could get. If you turn, so I talked to this company, PFM Asset <clears throat> Management, is very wide known, widely known. Uh, we have our depository right now is Myloft, and PFM and Myloft have been uh, kind of sister companies. Um, Page three, the good news, I'll get right to the good news. <laughs> if we look at page three, in the middle, on the right, it says estimated net earnings, $1,082,648. That is actually conservative based on the a draw schedule, the original draw schedule that I gave them. I, I'm, I'm waiting, I've been in contact with our construction manager because I think the draw schedule, we could move some money to have three or four million dollars next spring going out and our projects are starting to next summer. So I'm trying to get an update there so we capture um, every cent we can. Um, RJ Naughton in the bond, uh, our, our bond budget right now, he had about 200,000. So long story short, it with this investment schedule, we're going to be up about uh, $800,000 or so. That's just funds to work with. Um, I also, after I talked to Michael Berry at PFM, I was in contact with uh, Christopher Imarino, our bond counsel at True Law. I sent this to him. We had a couple conversations just to make sure everything is good. He's blessed us. It's, it's, it's good. It's solid. Um, so... I wanted to present that tonight and have the board um, you know, approve this potentially. So this is only regarding the bond that yes. we're yeah. right now. Our bond proceeds that we sold the bonds last March. The proceeds are in Myloff, um, which is like a basic. It's a difference between a like a fixed return. So there's the bond proceeds are sitting there and. Um, we don't have a need. We can, you know, a lot of that is um, we only need a little bit liquid right now. So the draw schedule tells us when we're going to need to make payments based on the projects that we're doing. And then the rest of that money can be invested to earn 
um, to earn this interest. Every district does this to okay. a certain extent. This is very common. Okay. Um, last March, we weren't exactly sure of where we were at. Didn't want to right away invest. We wanted to see where we were going. Plus, interest rates are continuing to go up. In fact, Michael said in another week or two, this could even look a little better. So, um, do you have any thoughts? I don't know if you've done this at your prior district. Yeah. <laughs> I think it makes a lot of sense. You know, if we could make some more money for our projects, yeah. I just think it makes some sense. Jan, I talked about it earlier. I'm on, I'm on board. I support her recommendation. Okay. Any yeah. questions for Jan on this or Gary? Well, thank you, Jan. Appreciate it. All the hard work in this. Yeah, thank you for doing the hard work. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, next are our action items. Can I first get a motion for the approval of the first student contract amendment? Move the Brandon Board of Education approve the first student contract amendment as presented. Board. Okay, Gary, do you want to say anything? I think basically we're adding the monitor monitors now. There's nothing really more than that. It's not a financial change, it's just a board change. The monitors are a that is a financial change. Oh, it is okay. We currently the current contract we pay the drivers. We have six monitors that do not currently do not qualify the, for this attendance bonus. So this action item is just adding the um, the monitors at the okay. end of the year, so about six thousand dollars. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Having none, could I have a roll call vote, please? John Chartier. Yes. Rebecca Haynes. Yes. Lisa Cataluna. Yes. Kim Smith Kalaga. Yes. Hillary Stokowski. Yes. Jeff Zilke. Yes. Diane Salter. Yes. Next, can I get a motion for the approval of the human resource report? Move the Brandon Board of Education approve the human resource report as presented. Support. Okay, any discussion on that? Having none, could I have a roll call vote, please? John Chartier? Yes. Rebecca Haynes, yes. Lisa Cataluna? Yes. Kim Smith Kalaga? Yes. Hilary Stokowski? Yes. Jeff Zilke? Yes. Diane Salter? Yes. Next, can I get a motion to for the approval of the regular board meeting date change for January? Move the Brandon Board of Education to approve the regular board meeting date change from Monday, January 9th, 2023 to Monday, January 16th, 2023, as presented. Supported. Okay, any discussion? That's just to coincide so we can have all those bond projects wrapped up hopefully by then. Could I get a roll call vote, please? John Churchier? Yes. Rebecca Haynes, yes. Lisa Cavaluna? Yes. Kim Smith Kalaga? Yes. Hilary Stokowski? Yes. Jeff Zilke? Yes. Diane Salter? Yes. Can I get a motion for the approval to invest bond proceeds? Move the Brandon Board of Education approved to invest bond proceeds as presented. Supported. Any discussion? I think we just had it. Could I get a roll call vote, please? John Chartier? Yes. Rebecca Haynes? Yes. Lisa Cavaluna? Yes. Kim Smith Kalaga? Yes. Hilary Stokowski? Yes. Jeff Silke? Yes. Diane Salter? Yes. Next, we have citizens input. I think I just have Teresa. Yes, but I did check that someone could just contact me. Oh, just contact you? Yes. Okay, it's I'll not find. an agenda item. It's just, that's fine. If you have a, something you want to say to the board, I'll contact you. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, no problem. Okay, next, uh, could I get a motion to go in closed session for negotiations? Move the Brandon Board of Education approved to convene a closed meeting to discuss contract negotiations as presented. Okay, could I get a roll call vote, please? John Chartier? Yes. Rebecca Haynes? Yes. Lisa Cavarona? Yes. Kim Smith Kalaga? Yes. Hilary Stokowski? Yes. Jeff Silke? Yes. Diane Salter? Yes. Okay, thank you. I think. We should be able to go with them. And thank you everybody for coming. And if anybody doesn't know, this is Herb Robinson and his wife, Kira. Herb is uh, going to be on the board starting January 1st. So welcome. Thanks,